Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Missouri's been hitting on all cylinders the last few games. They've ripped off a string of W's, trying to extend that streak. But the key is keeping Big Mo on your side. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. should be a very exciting football game. And now it's time for the coin toss. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Madsen from the two. And he's tackled at the 29. Ole Miss is a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they control them. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Brought down at the 43-yard line. First down. He makes his way to about the 28. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. Mike 8! Mike 8! He's tackled at the 14-yard line. So the option play gets him big yards right there. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how sometimes this guy is able to find the hole and get through it. with room to work. Big play, and it's first and goal. Call the game for 11 yards. That makes it first and goal. Roger, Roger! Mike, eight! Mike, eight! And watch the slant. Watch the slant! There's a four! That's the worst, that's the worst, that's the worst. Tackle around the nine-yard line. It's got to be frustrating for this offense to go backwards, but they've just got to stick with it and know that big plays will eventually happen. Ball inside the 10-yard line. Second down. The halfback with a carry. Diving for extra yardage. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. Touchdown, Rebels. the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. 
They are lighting up the scoreboard again in the Big 12. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. The Miners claim the win, 21-14. Thanks, Reese. 7-0 game here. Ole Miss is lining up to kick this one off. Taylor fields it at the 3. At the 30. He's tackled at the 38. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes, right around the 44-yard line. I really don't think this play is going to work if the linebacker doesn't take the bait on the play action. That opened up the room that the offense needed for the first down. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. Two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's second and 12. Ball on the 46-yard line. The Rebels lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. Mitchell on the run. He fights forward to about the 43. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. Zips it to the back. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. Five yards. It's a well-designed play to the halfback, and it worked at least to get them a medium gain on the play. Right now, he wants to get this kick away and change field position. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Ole Miss up seven points. Hands it off. Got some open field. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down at the 39. First down. Here's the give. Has some daylight. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Four down, four down. My gate, my gate. Quick pass. They'll bring him down around the 39-yard line. He's at the 30. Gets out to around the 22. Gets it out quickly. And he's tackled at about the 13. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First down. Defense trying to prevent any more damage. First and goal inside the five. Ole Miss is up a score. Gets to about the five-yard line. That brings him second and goal.
Executed. He looked totally in control on that keeper. He splits the uprights with the extra point. An eight-play, 80-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. The score now, 14-0. Looks like they're ready for the kick. The Rebels had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Brought down at the 29-yard line. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Hand off up the middle. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Inside the 30. He finally goes down at the 21. Quick strike and he drops it. And we've reached the end of one. Ole Miss is in front by 14. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. He gets another carry. He fights forward to about the 20. That's good for a game of one yard. That'll make it 39. Pass, man open, and he dropped it. You wonder now if this guy will get alligator arms the next time the ball comes his way. It's been known to happen. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. It's up, and it is good. Here's an update from the studio and reset. Let's take you down to Athens Town. And for Georgia, they're struggling to take control of this game. Kentucky's on top. 14-3. 14-3 game here, Reese. Missouri is ready to kick it away. Parrish takes it from the six. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. complete he's got room to work tackle made around the 33 yard line gets to around the 42 that makes it first and ten They get nice yardage on that run. That makes it second and six. He's gobbled up in the backfield. And that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. down and they need to get it inside the 48. And he's leveled at the 34-yard line. And 
for Franklin. That's his fifth sack of the season. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. Fourth and long here after the sack. Lawrence is waiting for the snap. Taylor fields at the 31. They'll bring him down at the 39-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's hit immediately. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it third and three. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Hardy, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and three. Caldwell is back to receive. Gets out to about the 31. The Rebels look almost unstoppable in that first quarter. And Herbie, since then, it's not so much that way. Yeah, they've been sluggish here in recent uh, series. But I think it's important. They still have the lead. This is where some leadership needs to assert itself. And somebody needs to make a play to flip that switch to get this offense going again. the defense they were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well this is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one it's a short kick they couldn't get anything going on that last drive Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Throws incomplete. Lawrence is the kind of athlete that you can build your entire offense around. His athleticism second to none. We'll see if they have an answer for him today. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Down at the 45 yard line. Seven yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. Third down. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Full out there. Check the outs out there. Four down. Four down. Watch one. Watch one. I don't know. Go. Shut that motion. Motion. Check. 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 He's in trouble. Dives for extra yardage. That's a very good effort on the run, but it all came down to the spot. And fortunately for the offense, it gave them what they needed. First and ten, ball on the 40. He's at the 30, crosses across the middle to his tight end. Not a safe pass at all. 
really tight coverage and not a lot of room. Credit the receiver with going after that one and hanging on. Throws out to the running back, no good. Mitchell is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. At the 18. That's a game of the game. Check, check. Let's go, 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 Let's Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. So they go to the air, and they come away with six, Kirk. And Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Time to check out what's going on in Norman. And for Oklahoma, a potential upset in the making right now. The Wildcats have the lead, 17-0. And for Ole Miss, wow, if that score stays the way it is, a victory today, and they're really going to move up in the BCS. Moore has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he's hammered down. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Ole Miss is up by four. He fights forward to about the 23. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That brings up second and nine. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. 14-10, Rebels. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they tried to come up with. So to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Taylor from the four. He makes it to the 28-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Throws a strike over the middle. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. Caught 
out of the open. And he is drilled at the 29. That makes it second and two. Got some open field. And they make the stop at the 21. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front. And it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. Makes it out to about the 10. It's first and 10. Ball on the 10-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Well defended that time. You're right, great job here by the defender playing the ball, keeping his balance and getting in the way of that pass. This is the eighth play of this drive. Caught, open field, he goes out of bounds at the six yard line. That'll bring up third and six. Tried to fool him by running the same play again. Yeah, fooled no one there, Brad. This one should be makeable. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. We are locked in on what's going on in Norman. This is a game we've been watching closely today. And for Oklahoma, a very lethargic performance so far. If they don't watch out, they're going to be in a world of hurt. The Wildcats are on top, 17-3. And for the Rebels, well, if that score holds up right now, they're going to be in great position to move up in the BCS standings if they win. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he's tackled at the 27. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Ole Miss with a one-point lead. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. That's a gain of 10 on the play. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 41 yard line. Got it, but he's going to lose yards here. And they lose a couple there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Third and eight, ball on their own 39. The Rebels had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Just throws this one away, and they're going to have to bring on the punt team. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Lawrence to punt. And he gets just a little on the return. That time, the coverage was all over. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Slings it. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. They come out of an empty backfield. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. 
Brad, I don't know about you, but it looked to me that they just miscommunicated. It looked like the wide receiver was going in one direction and the quarterback was throwing it another direction. They definitely need to get on the same page. He's taken down at about the 35. Great job here in shutting down the run. That's a real boost for this team. Caldwell will be the return man. And he just got stood up right there. They're set to go for another round. Ole Miss is up one. Here's an opening. They'll bring him down at the 40. Gain of 11 yards. First down. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Full out there, check the outs out there. Four down, four down. Watch 14, watch 14. Mike, check, check. Disco Raver, Disco Raver. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make the play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Find his man, and they take him down immediately. Robinson makes the tackle at the 45-yard line. That will make it Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. He's at the 40, and they push him out around the 39-yard line. That's a gain of 16 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Mike eight, Mike eight. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home, bro. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. Check, 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 check. Hey. 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 He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. He gets hit out of bounds around the 18 yard line. First down. Ole Miss up a point. Strike to his receiver, no good. James was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 18 yard line. They go to the ground game. Tackle made at the 17 yard line. Zips it to the back. Sheds that one. The ball is loose. He picks it up. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 14-13, Rebels. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Quick strike to the receiver. Right down, right around the 42-yard line. First down. 
Gets it out quickly. That's a great tackle at the 49. He might have a chance. Decides to slide. complete he's got room to work and he hits him hard at the 35 He's going to try and scramble, and they got him. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. Throws out and through his hands. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. They'll go for two in this situation. Five wide. Now he's scrambling, and they won't get the two. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. We are locked in on what's going on in Norman, and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Oklahoma, let's keep an eye on this game where a major surprise could be brewing. The Wildcats have the lead 24-17. You can never look ahead a week, but that would be a pretty big upset if that score holds. Missouri to kick. From the seven. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The Rebels have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Looks middle, got his back. Tackle at the 37. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. They hand it off. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. 
Just under three to go in regulation. Wideout makes the first down catch. And down he goes at around the 44-yard line. Throws a bullet. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From the 27-yard line, second down. Gains his way to the 10-yard line. That makes it first and goal. They'll be protecting that football after learning the hard way on their last trip to the red zone. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. An extra point here isn't going to do much to help you. You have to go for two, so at least you'll go into overtime in case they kick a field goal. You don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here, so they'll go for two and try to go up by three. They don't get it. They line up to kick this one away. Tucker, Tucker from the seven. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. And they make the stop at the 35-yard line. Zips it to the tight end. And he's tackled around the 42-yard line. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. Scrambling around. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 19-yard line. And he tackles him hard at the 11. From the 11-yard line, first down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Got a man complete, and he's hit hard. That'll make it second and four. They come out in a five-wide set. Here we go, D. Here I come. Here I come. Do it, man. Out of court. Out of court. Out of court. Out of court.
And he is drilled at the nine-yard line. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. He's scrambling. Well, that's just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. And they're going to take a timeout here and let him think about it. This will be it. If he misses, they'll wonder about what could have been. If he makes it, he'll be a school hero for years to come. As expected, they'll call a timeout here and try to add a little pressure. Just to get him to think a little more about it, they're going to call a timeout. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Well, folks, do you think we can see another Cal Stanford? They need to return this all the way to win it. Parrish fields it at the two. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. And it all comes down to this. One last chance to throw one up and see if somebody can bring it down and win the game. And he's got it. That tackle just sealed the deal. The ball game's over, and our final score in this one, Missouri 22, Old Miss 20. And the 20. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.